I have been going through my artwork from a few years ago or decades and the oldest drawings already reveal a sense that I need something spiritual in my life. So this is a study of the stained glass composition I made. This this was made before of that stained glass composition. It's one of the angels. This is uh, a drawing I made after seeing a statue in the museum. It's about the law of man. This is the child prophet. This one represents music and its power to evoke the subconscious and sub, uh, somehow subaquatic uh, realms. This is a picture from a museum as well, from a, a thing, a statue I saw in a museum. I see this person as um, materialization or um, image of virtue. This is also from a museum. This is the Greek god um, hypnos, which means sleep and um, dreamings. Um, this is little little baby Jesus. This is a pagan figure trying to communicate. This is um, a lady who has a mirror. It doesn't look like a mirror, but it is. And here it says there are angels on the other side of the mirror. It was my obsession when I was young, younger. I mean, when I was 21 from 18 to 10, 21 years old. This is a study, an anatomy study. It doesn't have any meaning. And this uh, straight and tall figure, Alia, means chance, random luck and all of that. It had a special meaning for me. Uh, the, um, the stains in the drawing come from an anatomy drawing. I I actually reproduced some of the my father's anatomy drawings, uh, anatomy books uh, of Grace anatomy book. He's a, he was a doctor. He's a doctor still. And this was the insides. <laughs> so this figure has nothing to do with the. Uh, underground stained paper Alia this is an angel with oversized clothes <laughs> this is about spiritual uh, quest um, the interpretation for this is straightforward this person is in a cell the cell is becoming smaller and the walls are melting and he's trying to get out of his shell and cell into the realm and escaping into the realm of uh, spirituality but it bears good and evil this bird is good and evil it's about madness This, uh, I, I made many drawings of lights. This says Veritas, or Veritas. It means truth, of course. And it's about 
it's it's a contemplative drawing I made when I was about 19 years old around 19 years old this one is is a drawing about asceticism how complicated it is to go upwards in the direction of virtue and light especially when you get to the top it starts a storm it starts raining on you and it's hard to achieve the ultimate light another light uh, another lamp it also says right us here this is what I was considering to be um, self-portrait of, of the mind it has many complicated symbols it was complicated by then and it's still complicated now but not as much as it was then and the last but not the least this is a drawing of the unconscious mind again the theme that comes again is is about reflection of the soul the soul reflects the heavens but it also goes deep into fear, deep into the mountains of the unconscious, the octopus. Obviously, it's about uh, the powers of the unknown. And the sword symbolizes virtue. virtue. It's between choosing nothing, choosing virtue, and going upwards into the unknown. Yes, it's a bit um, strange. The title is Proximidad, which means closeness. 